everybody, I'm Adam Wurzel. This would be 25 words or more, your exclusive 25 words or less after show. This would be a lobster. And this would be our amazing host, Meredith Vieira. Hi, Meredith. Hi, Adam, how are you? I'm good. This has kind of become like the uh, the inside joke here on the show. Yeah, because we give away the lobster gram uh, and gift cards and that poor little lobster always <laughs> appears. I feel so bad for him. He has no idea what his fate is going to be. <laughs> the, the arm's starting to fall off, too. So. Oh, no. <laughs> I hope that's not an, an omen. No, well, well, I like my lobster steamed, and I could just have the claw. <laughs> it's totally fine. So this is going to be really fun, Meredith, because we have fans of 25 Words or Less who have posted on our Facebook, on our Instagram, and they have questions for you, Meredith. Okay. They're, they're I'll all try really, to answer them. They're all really, really good questions. Are you ready? Are you up for the challenge? I am up for the challenge, Adam. All right. This question is from Vicky J. And Vicky J wants to know, how do you keep the celebrities reined in? They seem like lots of fun, but to keep the show on time, how do you do it, Meredith? Well, you gotta keep in mind that we are taped. It's not live to tape. So if they wanna ramble a little bit, and we like that because when they start teasing each other, we wanna see where it goes. So at, at home, you're not seeing some of that because it's edited, but I prefer to let them sort of go after each other. If it gets out of hand, you know, I have a whip. I'm 3,000 miles away, but I have a whip and I will use it. <laughs> Thank you for that question, Vicki. <laughs> this question comes from Sandra. She wants to know, she says, Hi, Meredith. My question is, do you just shake your head when Melissa Peterman comes up with her new ideas? I'm, you know what, Melissa Peterman is one of the best uh, celebrities we've ever had on this show. It's not just because she plays the game so well, but she always delivers for us. She produces, and she thinks as a producer, so she always has some sort of prop that she, that she can use to just sort of elevate the game playing and make it more fun, and she's really into that stuff. She really does like crafting. So I know when Melissa comes on, something is going to be funny, and I just, I can't wait to find out what it is. Sometimes I know, sometimes I don't. By the way, how are those water skiing lessons going? Uh, you know, I'm getting better and better. Thank <laughs> you for asking. And I'm really, my body is more toned than it's ever been. <laughs> you're doing it barefoot now, which is just incredible. <laughs> I mean, you just, you just glide with the water. Uh, hey, this... when you're good, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This question comes from Bella. This one might be hard, Meredith. Bella. In the history of our show, what is your favorite moment from 25 Words or Less? Oh, I couldn't, I, I say this about everything I do. It's the next moment. Uh, it, I, there's not one that sticks out in my mind. I, but I love when people give these clues that are so obscure or weird to get to an answer and they get to it. We just had one dead body hole and, I think they, and the answer was grave. You know, I think we're gonna make t-shirts. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it now so it'll be public. For the fourth season, I would like to have t-shirts where the front is the clue words and then the back you have the answer because there's so, there are so many that are hysterically funny. I think that is a brilliant idea. Thank uh, th you. This question comes, see, when you got it, you got it. Just like you said, Meredith. Yes, I know. I knew this, I heard it somewhere. <laughs> this question comes from Sandra F, because we have another Sandra now. Sandra okay, F Sandra wants F. to know, you have a great sense of humor. Have you always had your quick wit? Um, yeah, I mean, I I don't know. That's like bragging, I guess. <laughs> I mean, but I, I, yeah, I have always been pretty fast on my feet. You have to be in this world, really. It's a, it's almost a defensive mode because it, it throws people off a little bit when you're able to come back with a quip. Of, but what I am never is mean-spirited. Uh, that I don't like. There's witty and then there's taking advantage of another person and just making them feel bad. And I, I never intentionally ever try to do that. But I'm dealing with some of these celebrities. They're so sharp. You have to be at least up to where they are. And they make you funnier too. You do a great job of, out la of laughing with people, Thank not you. at them, which is, which is no. great. Um, this is from, we don't know his name, but his, his handle is at laziness underscore aficionado. <laughs> so, so laziness wants to know, what was the room in your basement previously used for before you started filming? Was it a finished basement to begin with? What did you, or did you have to make modifications? Yeah, it's a finished basement. I don't know if the video is still up at 25 words or less of so that shows from last season where we walked you through. It hasn't really changed. It was a finished basement with one room, had a pool table in it and a couple of high tops. That is now, that pool table is now where we keep our monitors for our engineer, John. So he's watching everything. Um, if there's any problems, he makes it work uh, in conjunction with the folks in LA. And then the high tops, one is for makeup and one is for hair. So they came in very handy. And then we have a little kitchenette down here. So that's our craft services area. 
and we have a uh, storage room, and that's where we had wardrobe last year. This year we moved it up to our dining room so there's a little bit of light. So we can actually see what I'm putting on. That helps a little bit. And the room that I'm in here, this is a media room. Behind me there was a big, there still is a big TV, and they've put this in front of it so that we have this backdrop. And then we have seating over there, which you can't see. So it worked out. I, they came and checked out our basement in the last season, and they walked around. I didn't know if it would work, and they said, this is going to work great. Um, so that's that's how we functioned, and, and thank goodness, because it's kept all of us safe here on the East Coast so that we can deliver the best show possible. All right, I have one more question, Meredith, and this is this is actually something I can't see this when you when we're taping the show, so I, this, I'm really intrigued about this. Rebecca G. Rebecca wants to know... Uh, what it looks like when you are watching the show and, and do you feel anxious as the contestants are getting low on words and time? Oh, I totally do. I mean, I want all these people to win. Um, I don't know if you can see when, when they're um, saying I can do it in whatever words. I'm already counting on my finger fingers how many words it would take for me to accomplish it. So I'm playing right along. And it's, what amazes me is when they actually start playing and they've gone down a whole different direction in terms of their clue words from myself. And sometimes I go, that's brilliant. Other times I'm uh, white knuckling it because I'm thinking there's no way that their, their teammates are gonna get this. So I'm nervous, I'm rooting for them, but I'm nervous for them. But I also have to stay in that moment and do my job, you know, which is to navigate the show for everybody. Well, you are doing a great job. And I have one more question, and this is just a, a question I want to know, because I know how our I don't whole... care what you want to know. I really don't care what you want to know. <laughs> <laughs> our, but seriously, our whole well, crew, want? our whole crew, I mean, we work really, really hard to make this show oh, possible. And we, we do 175 shows a season, so we're a little tired. I'm sure you must be tired. So we wrap tomorrow. What are you going to do next week? Next week, I hope to go to Cape Cod, which is sort of a, one of those places that I love in New England, in Massachusetts. Um, that's the game plan. I, I'll see how far I get. Oh, and I know what I'm going to do next week. That next Friday, I'm going to Providence, Rhode Island for my 50th, I can't believe I'm saying this, wow. my 50th high school reunion. Wow. So, yeah, and it's like, it's it's a milestone. Attention must be paid um, to that. But uh, it's also, I remember seeing images of people at their 50th and going, God, they're they're so old. And now I'm going, and, I, and I'm really excited. I'm excited to see friends that I haven't seen literally since I graduated. Some I have, but many moved on to other parts of the country, and you know we've kept up because of things like Facebook. But to all be together, together again and to reminisce will be a lot of fun. Well, it sounds like a great week ahead, and I just want to give a big shout-out to Manny Rodriguez, our director. I am paying attention. Uh, my hands are on the table. I am completely up against the desk. Yes. I am not using the, the backrest, so he should be very happy. And you have pillows. You have Show yeah, them your pillows. Yeah. I've got one yeah. pillow. It's an honor <laughs> to get a pillow from Manny Rodriguez, our director. Meredith Vieira, you are fantastic. Thank you so much for being with us here on 25 Back Words or More. Back at you. You are fantastic. And can I just say for all those people who are kind of sending questions and all those who are, will be watching this, we really do. It's not easy to do what we do. Um, it is a game show, but it's intense work. And I could never pull it off without everybody that's a part of this show. It, uh, it's an amazing group of people, and it's a kind group of people, and that's the best combination you can have. So I miss the folks in L.A. very much. Hopefully next season we'll all be together. Want more 25 Words or Less? Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hang out with us backstage right here on 25 Words or More.